two lions have very long and very flexible necks. And John is going to be stretching his neck way up high, just so you can see how long it really is. Yeah, that's pretty long, buddy, but he is not done showing off just yet. His neck is so long and so flexible, he can touch his nose all the way to his back. Yes, that is some crazy flexibility. Now, seals, they do have flexible necks as well, but theirs is nowhere near as long as the California sea lions. Now, another difference we will point out is found in those rear flippers. Now, sea lions like Java here, they have a rotatable hip bone. So this will allow them to tuck those rear flippers completely underneath their bodies, as you can see Java's doing right now. This helps to make them really mobile out here on land. So you can see he can walk both backwards and forwards with, on all fours without any problems at all. Now seals, they don't have that uh, rotatable hip bone like sea lions do, so when they come out onto land, they do tend to look a little bit silly sometimes. Now Java here, he actually has an amazing impression of his cousin, so Java, when you're ready, let's see it. <laughs> yes, that is exactly right, Java is featured on those lines with some fuzzy intros. Don't be shy, folks, let's go for Java up here today, he is being pretty silly. Now, as silly as he is being, he is definitely correct. When seals come out on land, they pretty much will scooch around on those bellies just like that, leaving those rear flippers out behind them because they don't have that rotatable hip bone. Now, another difference that we can point out is also found in the front flippers. Now, sea lions have very large and very strong front flippers, and Java has been giving you some great views of those front flippers that he has. Now, they use those front flippers to help them move out here on land, as well as pull their bodies through the water. Kind of like you or I would use our arms when we swim. Now seals, they also have front flippers, of course, but theirs are just a lot smaller and shorter. So they will use those in the opposite manner to steer their bodies through the water rather than to pull their bodies like a sea lion does. Now another difference that we'll point out is also found in Java's ears. So if you can get a close look at the side of his head, you might notice that he does have those external ear flaps. Now those are called pinnae. Now seals, they actually don't have this pinnae, so instead they just have internal ears, and they look like some small openings on the sides of their heads. And now that final difference we will point out, although it is not a physical difference, if you ever do hear these animals, they do sound a lot different, so I'm just going to turn it over to Java. sound when they vocalize. So now we have gone over all those differences for you. Make sure you check out our sea lion habitat as well as our seal habitat up at the front of our aquarium and so you can point out any of those differences for yourself. Now here at the aquarium we do train our animals every single day to keep them both mentally and physically stimulated. So much like you or I will go to school or do a crossword puzzle to keep our brain sharp and learn something new, it's just like Java here learning a new behavior with his trainers. And also how we go to the gym or the playground to stay nice and active. We do like to keep our animals active in their training sessions with some more higher energy behaviors. Now I do have to know that one of Java's favorite ways to stay active in his sessions is actually by dancing. He has been working on his dance moves. He does need to get his exercise in today. So what do you folks say? You want to see Java dance today? Yeah! All right, that is what we thought. So we're going to get his favorite song on. And when you hear that beat, clap along and help Java keep the rhythm. All right, here is
Now, with those great dances, it does not reach the end of our show just yet, but these two are going to head inside the habitat and continue the show from in there. Now, folks, you might have noticed that Java is not our only California sea lion that we have here at the Lawn Aquarium. We do have a total of four California sea lions. Now, Java, like I mentioned before, is our one and only male, so our other three are all females. They go by the names of Bunker, Mila, and Lucy. Now, Bunker is our oldest female at 21 years old. Lucy is our youngest at four years old, and Mila is nine years old. Now, if you'd like to see any of their training sessions, they will be following our show. All of our sea lions are trained to participate in our shows, but if they are not participating in one of our shows, they will get their very own training session following the show as well. So please stick around if you'd like to see some more sea lion action. But folks, it does look like our stars are just about ready for us. Let's put our hands together and welcome them back to their stage. Now, as I have been mentioning throughout our show today, all the animals in this habitat are in fact California sea lions. Now, in nature, this species can be found all on the west coast of North America, as far north as British Columbia up in Canada, and as far south as the Baja Peninsula down in Mexico. Now, in nature, sea lions will often gather into large groups called rookeries, and in those rookeries, they need to be very quick, very agile, and very brave, not only in the water, but also right out here on land. So to prove to you today just how brave he is, Java is going to make his way to the highest point in his habitat. He is off. And it looks like he has made up there with no problems at all. Java, now that there, you are up there, are you feeling brave today? Alrighty, folks, well, that is definitely good to hear because I think we know at a height like that that there can only be one way down. So, Java, let's make some noise for Java and let's see that high dive. And there he goes. He is our brave sea lion. Now next we're going to answer a very popular question that we get here at the aquarium, which is how do we actually train all the behaviors that we've been seeing throughout our show today? Now the very first behavior that we'll train with all of our animals here is a very simple skill called targeting. Now what targeting means is that the animal learns to place and hold their nose to our fist. Now once they're comfortable with that, we can transfer that target to other objects, such as training tools, like that target pole, as well as objects throughout their habitat, like that colorful ball suspended high above the water. Now, once Java is comfortable tying that ball, we're able to move it around while also asking him to follow it. So from there, we can shape some really cool behaviors like jumping. So that ball started out at the surface of the water, and over time, we can raise it higher and higher to the point that it is at today. But I don't know, this ball is looking pretty high for Java here. He is a pretty big sea lion to get out of the water. So let's make some noise for him one more time. Let's cheer him on. Let's see if he can touch that ball for us today. And as you can see, for doing a great job with that behavior, as well as all the behaviors throughout the show today, Java was constantly rewarded with loss and loss of his favorite food, which of course is fish. fish. Now this is called positive reinforcement, and that's how we train all of our animals here at the Lawn Aquarium. Now unfortunately, with that great big splash from Java, it does bring us to the end of our show today. You guys have been a lovely audience. Let's give it up one more time for your stars. Now on behalf of myself, your star job, and his trainer, Courtney, we want to thank you all so much for coming out today. And have a great day at the Lawn Aquarium. Goodbye, everyone. As you exit, please make sure to check around you for old personal belongings and garbage. It is up to us to clean and litter-free. 